What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Canelo Alvarez. Get this Canelo Alvarez enlists Alexander Voznik as sparring partner for Dimitri Bivol. Canelo appears to leave no stone unturned as he prepares for Dimitri Bivol. The Mexican superstar has brought in former lightweight champion Alexander Voznik into his training camp as a sparring partner, according to a recent ESPN Deportes. Alvarez is set to, of course, challenge Russia's Dmitry Bivol for the WBA lightweight title May 7th at the T-Mobile Arena. The 34-year-old Volsnik is a native of the Ukraine and bronze medalist in 2012 Olympics. He was regarded as one of the top lightweights in the sport for the years that he was active from 2014 to 2019. His most noticeable win was against Adonis Stevenson, as we know that he punched Stevenson into a coma, basically, and he had a long road back. So Volznik is the real deal. He had a hell of a fight with the bear that I call him, uh, or tour better beef. And they went toe to toe. And after that, with that one loss, he decided to retire. And I always thought that was a, a really premature by Volznik. But when you know, you know, but he is still using his boxing chops. Okay. Um, by helping Canelo Alvarez prepare for Bivol. Now the question is, is Bivol and Vosnik comparable? And I would say yes. Height, speed, and power. Style, no. But speed and power, definitely. Okay? Because a lot of those guys, Dimitri and um, Alexander, they both throw some very sharp shooting punches. So that can get Canelo Alvarez accustomed to moving side to side because he's going to need to. He's going to need his head movement, especially against Bivol. And I know damn sure he's going to find that out sparring Volznik. Okay. I would love to see the sparring sessions and the sparring wars between Volznik and Canelo because Volznik, I think, still has a lot to offer. He's still uh, young. I think he's, what, 33, maybe? If he's 34. So he's 34 years of age, you know, and um, this is what Volznik had to say. He said, Canelo always shows that he's capable of taking hard punches against Triple G. Um, and Volznik told him, he said, better be if he's strong, he's coming forward. In my opinion, he is underestimated as a boxer and underestimated as a puncher. This is my opinion. I fought the guy, but don't get me wrong. He hits really hard, but you can stand those punches. But I think Canelo definitely will be able to stand those punches. Canelo's skills, Canelo's defense, and elusiveness, I think, will be a cru will be uh, the main factor in the fight. So, I think that's his take on uh, Better B versus Canelo. I was really looking forward to seeing what he is able to doing, but he did mention that Canelo can take hard punches, and a great example was Triple G. Triple G did hit Canelo, especially that first fight. When he caught Canelo, like, like no, he caught him right here. He caught him right here on that side of that head. You know, that I call it that Tyson Fury Wilder punch, where he caught Wilder and kept messing him up, really catching him right here. That's a punch where, you know, a lot of, this is a pressure point right here. And for Canelo to take that shot, he has to have a hard head, man. And I, and he can take punches, as you can see. And he recovers quick. Even in that Cotto brother fight, when he fought Cotto's brother, Cotto caught, Cotto's brother caught uh, Canelo with not just a shot that buckled him, but he caught him with three or four shots and Canelo took it well. So the guy can take a punch. He does have a beard. Anybody that does have a beard that has a reputation of having a beard, it is Canelo Alvarez. So um, I think you're going to need more than brute strength. I think what Canelo is a perfect combination of skill and power and toughness, okay, as well as um, durability. And I think I already said that, but, you know, and that's toughness. But I think that Canelo, uh, a guy that's the leaner, like Mayweather, faster, quicker, pure boxer style, would beat Canelo. You know what I mean? Not a guy that's coming that really wants to fight fire with fire because he's accustomed to that. You know, with the James Kirklands and the Canelo Alvarez, I mean, with the Gennady Golovkins, you know, and, and these guys, you know, the, and even the uh, El Perro and Gulof of the world he's used to that he wants you to come in near him because he can slip dip rubber neck and throw his own and land his own shots but with Volznik back to him i think he would be a great asset in the camp 
And I do believe that Canelo Alvarez made a good choice by bringing Alexander Volsnick in, especially Volsnick has the opportunities to real still show what he still has to offer in the sport of boxing. And there's many avenues in the sport of boxing to go down. Either it's training or sparring like Volsnick's doing and other, other things that he can explore and still keep himself sharp, you know, just to be sharp. You know, I wish guys like, uh, maybe they do, maybe like Alexander Usyk, I mean, sorry, Andre Ward is a guy that may still spar from time to time, you know, but we, we don't hear of that, but I would still like him to just to keep himself fresh and sharp and in shape because the worst thing you want to see is a guy that used to be chiseled, buff, ready, and in shape. Now you see him, he's a shell of himself and he's fat and married and uh, overweight and, you know, high cholesterol, blood pressure through the roof and all that crazy stuff. We don't want another Riddick bow over here. All right. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Canelo bringing in Alexander Volsnik to train for the Dimitri Bivol fight. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.